Thanks very much, Lewis. As we get right back to the track here, the Xfinity Women's 100 meters getting set to run. American Shakari Richardson ran the 200 meters yesterday in China, but another member of Team USA's success in Budapest is here in Bermuda. In the last two U.S. National Championship 100 meter finals, she has been fourth and third. She made the team last year and made the World Championship final. And then, what a leadoff leg for the U.S. women, four by one. There she is, handing off to T.T. Terry and the United States was that close to winning the four by one world title. You see Sha'Carri Richardson holding off the 200 meter world champion, Sharika Jackson of Jamaica. I think Tamari Davis is going to be put into that lead off leg until she doesn't want to run it anymore. <laughs> She's just 21, but she made the world championship final last year, the former high school phenom from Gainesville, Florida. Yeah, turned pro after her junior year of high school. We move over to lane number three, JB Ann Oliver of the United States. What a 2021 she had, made the US team, finished behind Sha'Carri Richardson at the Olympic trials, and then got as far as the semifinals at the Tokyo Olympic Games. Ran collegiately at the University of Kentucky. We see the rest of the field here as they get a couple of Notable Jamaicans, Kevin Nelson, 24 years of age, and a lot of Reed at 19, youth being served in Jamaica right now. Yeah, the Jamaicans are very excited about Alana Reed, the high school phenom. Kevin Nelson made the Jamaican team in 2022 when Worlds were at her alma mater, Oregon. The Xfinity women's 100 meters. Pretty even start here for the first 20 meters or so. Oliver now emerging from the middle of the track. That is Davis, and Davis breaks some daylight between her and the rest of the field and swiftly to the line. We'll expect that to be wind aided, and indeed it is 2.2 meters per second on that wind, but 11.04, the victory for Davis. Hey, when I had her in my picks last year, people said, huh? You could do a lot worse than to pick Tamari Davis to repeat in terms of making that U.S. team. Again, she's incredibly consistent. She's already run 1094 so far in 2024. Kemba Nelson third from the right, got her characteristic good start. It did not phase Davis, who took control mid-race. And then this is her 200-meter prowess showing at the end. She's been running great 200 since she was in high school and she gets the win here. Second from the left, Courtney Johnson with a nice close to finish in second, but for the second consecutive year, Tamari Davis arrives in Bermuda and will take that flight home as the winner of the Xfinity Women's 100 meters. Lewis? All right, well, Tamari, you had a nice big tail win there, 2.2, and you run 11.04. What are your thoughts about the performance early here in the season with big prizes? ahead of you at the trials, hopefully for yourself. Yeah, I was pretty pleased with my performance. The start kind of started me a little bit. The gun was kind of quiet, so I wasn't <laughs> ready for it. But overall, I'm healthy, happy, and I have a nice time on the board. So I'm pretty happy. And what about the time here in Bermuda? This is a, kind of an interesting destination to come for track and field. What do you think? It's nice. I love it. I love the energy. Like right now, they're, they're so loud, but they love track and field, and I love that. And it's a beautiful country and island. so. It's definitely not. I love coming here. And when you can think about the trials, what are your hopes and dreams for, for that uh, day? 54 days away, I think. Yeah, my number one goal and hope is, of course, to make that team and remain healthy the whole season. All right, Tamari, thanks. Thank you.